Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. A couple weeks ago, I shared with you guys the Starbucks brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso, and you guys absolutely killed it. You really love that video. If you haven't already, definitely go check that out. So I thought I would also recreate their chocolate almond milk shake and espresso. I know this came out a while ago. It's been a hot minute, but we've been a little bit busy. We got our vaccines. Um, that killed me a little bit. We did a bunch of landscaping in the backyard that really killed me so i know it's been a while since it came out but i thought i'd share it regardless uh better late than never so here it is i tried this drink a couple days ago and if i'm being honest with you guys i really didn't really like it <laughs> yeah i don't know it just didn't taste good to me i guess but i really liked the concept the way starbucks makes it so for a grande they add three blonde shots of espresso, um, shake that up with, I think, like three tablespoons of chocolate malt powder, and then pour it in a cup and top it off with almond milk. I like chocolate, I like espresso, and I like almond milk, so I really wanted to like this. But I think it was the malt powder for me. I personally didn't know what malt powder was, so I had to do quite a bit of research. And it's essentially just, I guess, like, like wheat, like chocolate wheat powder with evaporated milk. Honestly, still not 100% sure to this day what malt powder is. So I thought I would recreate it at home with a different ingredient. I still wanna keep the same concept, just simple espresso, chocolate, and almond milk, but we're just gonna use something a little bit different. So again, since this is shaken, we're using my handy dandy blender bottle since I still don't have a shaker bottle, but that's okay. So to my blender bottle, I'm gonna add one cup of ice. And then instead of using like chocolate malt powder, I'm gonna be using this dark chocolate sauce. This is just one option you could use. You can also use like Hershey's chocolate sauce. Another good alternative is, I feel like everybody has this at home too, is um, you can also do three tablespoons of hot cocoa mix and shake it up with the ice and espresso. Um, I definitely feel like that would turn out really good, but today I'm just gonna be using this dark chocolate Toriani dark chocolate sauce. And I'm just gonna add three good squeezes. <laughs> Um, you guys know I don't really measure anything. So if you like more chocolate and more sweetness, add more. If you don't, don't add as much. That's another thing I love about recreating drinks at home is that you know yourself best. So you know exactly how sweet you like your drinks. So you're able to put more or less sweetness and customize it to your preferences. Today, I'm gonna be using a double espresso chiaro. I do like more of like the coffee presence present in my drinks so i do like a darker uh flavor you can use whatever double espresso or three espresso shots you have at home but if you do like i guess the blonde flavor of the starbucks drink i recommend using the gold or like yellow espresso pot but yeah today we're just gonna be using a double espresso chiaro pour that in and then give this a good shake I definitely think that like shaking the espresso with the other ingredients really helps incorporate it all together a lot better. It also, I don't know, it really just does something to the espresso. I have a cup with some fresh ice and then I'm just gonna pour the shaken espresso into the cup. And then we're just gonna top it off with some almond milk. Okay, so this next step is definitely optional. One thing that malt, chocolate malt powder is that I think like the chocolate sauce doesn't have is like that evaporated milk essence. So we are actually going to add a small splash of sweet cream. I think this will just give it like a bit more creaminess that the malt powder would give. So here is my version of the chocolate almond milk shaken espresso. And of course, I had to pick one up from Starbucks as well, just so I could do like a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's give this a good mix. I will say these drinks at Starbucks are getting prettier and prettier. The gradient in this is just insane. And then let's also give this one a good mix. Now let's give it a try. Let's try the Starbucks one first. Okay. Mm. 
This is delicious. It's pretty spot on. But the only difference I think is that the homemade one doesn't have the like powdery, I don't, I don't know, like old milk kind of taste. And I think that really comes from like the evaporated milk powder in the chocolate malt powder. This is a lot more smooth. I definitely think the homemade one tastes better. It's cheaper. It's um, really easy. And that's that's pretty much it. So if you do give this a try, let me know what you think in the comments down below. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.